Right guys, welcome back to ADB Fishing. Now today, I'm out doing some mackerel fishing and I like to target them. Hello there. Hello. It's a nice little fussy. <laughs> now, when I like to do my mackerel fishing, I like to use a bass setter basically, this is a bass rod, Teclon Concept Spin, um, and this is rated at 10 to 40 grams. Now, I love this rod myself. I've had my first local bass on it, um, I've had plenty of mackerel on it. I had my good seed trout, I'll, I'll show you a picture of that seed trout and I'll get to that later. But I like to target mackerel with a little jig. This is a sidewinder jig, I think that's like a scad pattern or something, a small little scad, and then I have three or four feathers above the law. Now, doing it this light, it's so much more fun than casting a huge beach caster over and over and over with a huge six ounce lead. And even when you get the mackerel, it's not really a fight, you're just hauling in dead weight. So doing it like this, if you get four mackerel on like I had the other day, your reel is screaming, you've got a bend in your rod, you've got to proper play them. It's just so much more fun that way. And also doing the little jig means normally if there's mackerel there the bigger mackerel take the jig if there's bass there they'll normally take the jig and like what happened to me yesterday a really nice sea trout took my jig and it's one of the best fights i've ever had it it's screaming real off the line um i couldn't really control it but it was great to let it go it was three pounds seven ounces it weighed so quite a, it was a skinny fish though, I imagine if it was, um, I'd been feeding quite a bit it would have been a lot heavier but I'm going to chuck this around for a bit, it's a lot rougher than it was yesterday and the wind's quite um, strong as well so I'm, I'm not too confident that they'll be about as much as they were yesterday, especially as close in. So I'm going to do some chuck about anyway, I'm going to speak to you about the mackerel fishing and hopefully I'll be able to get some to prove my points is. So stay tuned guys and hopefully I'll have a fish for you. So there we are guys, you can see how it's worked. I've had two smaller mackerel on the feathers and one large one on a big, I think that's 30 gram spinner and I've just put down smaller hooks. So sometimes that's all you need to do. Spinners and feathers, you don't need to have a bloody big beach caster to do it, but there you go. Two mackerel there, let's get it cast back out and hopefully we can get some more. There we are guys, another one, this time on the feather, just above this spinner, but uh, that's quite a chunky one that, just a lone big one I think, it's gone very quiet, it's about, um, what is it, 45 minutes until high, but I'm only going to fish it another 20 minutes I think, and then I've got some other stuff to do, so uh, get this guy, 
get a good show of him. It's not a bad size one. The light is not great actually. There we go. Uh, there they are. Nice. It's a bit skinny but perfect for bait so I'm happy with that. Get in the cool box and hopefully we'll get some more. Right guys, there we are. That's the end of the video. It's, uh, it's a lot colder than yesterday. The wind's a lot heavier. As you can see, there's quite a big surf behind me. Or oh, more than there was yesterday. But I managed... Four mackerel for my efforts. I only came out for about an hour and a 40, I think it's been. And uh, they're still very patchy at the moment. They're not thick in the water like they are in the summer. And it's only... Are we in April now, so it's quite nice to see him this early. But go get him in the cool box, go put the rod away, get out to the car, go get some lunch, and then go check the crab traps. So I hope this has been an okay little video for you. Sorry I couldn't uh, chest mount anything and then get the fights on camera, but you've seen what I use just a little spinning rod, small 3000 size reel, a little uh, jig and then some feathers above it and that's in my opinion the best way to do it you get way more fun out of it that way and you're not hammering all the fish stock so hope this has been an enjoyable video thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one